Welcome on Police Extravaganza. On Monday, August 9, 2021, the excellent Sean Paul Reyes from Long Island Audit was peacefully exercising his First Amendment right to film in public in Larchmont, New York. He was confronted by Larchmont Police Department. They ignorantly told him it was against village code to film in public. How a local village code can supersede the Constitution of the United States. Another example of how local authorities and local law enforcement are exercing an unlawful power that can test your right under the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution to film in public. What if this village code would authorize the local police to shoot on sight on people who contest that code? Simply scary and ridiculous. So we got the license plate over here. Hey, how are you? No, I don't need any help. Can I get your name and badge number, though? No, you cannot. Can I help you? I can't get your name and badge number, no, ma'am. what are you doing in the back parking lot? I'm just, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, ma'am. Okay, about what? I, I don't want to release that information until it's published. Okay, well, there's no reason for you to be in the back lot. It's police department and employees only Ma'am, can I, can I, that's, that's not true. There's, it is. there is. This is police parking. Can I show you the signs? And village parking only. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not parking, ma'am. I'm walking. Ma'am, I would ask that you use a little bit of de-escalation. De because you, you came in kind of hot. You came in kind of hot. I'm going to ask you to leave this is pub lot. This is public property. No, it is not public property. This is private property. There are police vehicles back here. That doesn't make... What law is that? What law means... It's a village code. It is private property. Can you articulate that code for me? Here. Off the top of my head, no, I can go inside and get it. Can I get you? Can you stop covering your name and badge number? Can I get you? I, how am I supposed to respect your authority if I don't know who you are? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Your name is Booty, badge number 227. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for identifying yourself as a law enforcement officer. I appreciate that. How you doing today, sir? Good. What's up, man? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Sure. Irvine. Irvine? 16. 16? 216. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And apply for a filming permit. Pump. Pump. Pompilio Shield. 28, I'm sorry. Thank you for identifying so yourself. You need to go upstairs Appreciate that. To the second floor to the clerk's office. Yeah. And apply for a permit to film. What? What? Why would I? It's because freedom. I have freedom of the press. It is not freedom of press. This is private property. It's fenced off. It's, it this is not fenced off. It says authorized personnel only. No, that's you just. If you are filming on village you, property, you you literally just lied. Excuse me, I'm not lying. I, that's are, not what that sign says. This is. There is no fence here, ma'am. There doesn't need to be a fence here in the event we have to get out in an emergency. It is fenced off on the perimeter. Yeah. If you are filming on village property, yeah. you must get a permit for video. What law is that? That's a village code. Okay, calm down. So you can go upstairs to the second floor. Yeah. And you can apply for a permit to be videotaping on village property. The, the First Amendment gives me the right to film pub not, in public. Not on village property. It is a village code. Village. If you're going to be enforcing code on me, I would like to know the code, please. But you're 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 telling me that I'm. I'm telling you yeah. That you have to have a permit. Yeah. To videotape in the village according of to a, in court, according to, to a law. Code. Code. Not a law. It is a code. Okay, and you cannot articulate what code you that have is. To go upstairs and get it. Okay, so are you giving me are you giving me a lawful order to leave? Yes, I'm telling you, you cannot videotape on village property without a permit. Even if you are making a commercial or you're filming a movie, any videotaping in the village of Larchmont, you must apply for a permit. On public property? On public property. Okay. This I is need... public property. It's also, it belongs to the village of Larchmont. Yeah. There are police vehicles and other things that are not accessible to the public here on this property. In order to videotape anything, on Larchmont Village property, anywhere in the village of Larchmont, you must apply for a permit. 
Where where are you getting that where are you getting that information from, Sergeant? Our code, our village code. The one you don't know. Give me a second and I will get it for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I get your name please? Now? Detective what? Hammond. Hammond. Thank you. Thank you. Shield 101. Shield 101. Thank you, Detective. I'm going to stand over here on a public easement just in case I was given a lawful order, apparently. So. You've been, you've been very, you've been very cool with me. My, my first name's Sean. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, sir. That's interesting, because it's public property. But that's interesting. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not doubting, I'm not doubting your code that it you're reading. Pro public property within the village of Larchmont, you must obtain prior approval by the village of Larchmont Board of Trustees. That code that is completely is, unconstitutional. It's not unconstitutional. It is a village code. Village boards are allowed to constitute their own codes. Ma'am, free, freedom of press means that there's no restrictions on it. To the court I will be going up there. I will so be going up there. I will. I will be going up there. I will. This this is not this is definitely not your property. This is a public this is a public easement. You can go upstairs and apply for a permit to videotape. Yeah. So but I just want to clarify. So anywhere I go in the city, I have to be I have to have a permit to film. Just just you for clarification. You have a permit. Yeah. Whether you are on public property or private property within the village of Archmont. Okay. It's so not even code. even even from but what I have the right to film the police from New York you State know, law. You are not allowed in the back parking lot on pro public property mm -hmm. to film without prior approval by the Board of Trustees. Okay. If you are filming commercial in your private residence, you must apply for a permit. That's interesting. That's that's in direct violation of the it Constitution. Is the village code. The village is allowed to have their own code. If you have an issue, they can, it, you can take it up with the village. I will. Code. No, they can have their own code, but they can't you have can a code that violates the Constitution that you took an oath to, ma'am. You, I follow the rules of New York State and the village that I work in. You should, that is a code but the number one rule you should follow is the Constitution. You didn't take an oath you to to the to the codes. To the you did, clerk. I understand, but you didn't take an oath to the. Stop videotaping in the back parking lot. You have to go upstairs. I'm not even in your park. I'm not even in your parking lot. No, I'm currently not. This is a public easement where I'm at right now. That's I, I can't I can't even believe those words are coming out of okay, your mouth. Well, it's in the village code. You can go upstairs and talk. I'll be getting a, I'll be getting a copy of that. Yeah. You can go upstairs and talk to the clerk. I will, ma'am. I will. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks. Take take it easy. Thanks. You too. You too. I'll definitely be fighting that code because that's okay, so it's unconstitutional. Ma'am, respect res respectfully. Ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm on. I'm definitely on a public sidewalk right now. So if you are you are you telling me you're going to arrest me if I? I never said arrest. I asked you to go up to see the court clerk. Don't put words in my mouth. Okay. I asked you to go see the court, not the court clerk, the village clerk. Yeah. Uh huh. Permission to videotape. I'm asking you nicely to stop videotaping. You haven't been nice since you got in here. Can I ask you a question, ma'am? Oh, and then I'll go up there. No, I'm not answering any more questions. I'm telling you to go see the. Village well, I'm going to ask you anyway. I'm going to. I'm going to ask you anyway, what happens when you violate a code? What are the repercussions for violating code? Larchmont Village? Yes. It's actually an arrest. It's an arrestable offense. You get, a, you get a DAT and you have to appear in court on the can you give me one of the, Can you give me one of those? I'm not giving you an arrest ticket right now, no. S but I'm, I'm not... I'm giving you a warning to go see the court clerk. I would like an arrest ticket. We don't give them out when people ask for them. So what would... What would con I'm continuing to film. I'm breaking the code. So if I'm on, you saying that I can't film, I'm on a public sidewalk. Let me make that very clear. I'm on a public sidewalk. And if it's against the code for me to film. You are filming in the back lot where there is police so, apparatus. So, ma'am. I asked you multiple times to go see the 
I understand that, ma'am. So I would invite you to write me up on the code, ma'am. I would invite you to do that because it's unconstitutional. It's unconstitutional, it's ma'am. It's unconstitutional, and I would invite you to write me up on it. I am not. I am not. I am not even on village property anymore. Well, the sidewalk technically belongs to the village. It, it belong, technically belongs to the, to the people, ma'am. It doesn't belong to the people. It belongs to the village. Ma'am, I'm going to make, I'm going to be, I'm going to try and be reasonable here. It's not against you. It's against that code. And I'm going to continue okay, to film so what I could see from public. Ma'am, I'm not going to stop doing that because this okay, is unconstitutional. Ma'am, I'm, I'm going to stick up for what I believe in here. I believe in the Constitution. I believe in freedom of press. So if you need okay, to write me, if you need me, if if you would like to, you can arrest me or write your ticket of arrest, whatever that is. I invite you to do that. Whatever you need to do. I'm not moving from here, ma'am. I'm not moving from here. You would be violating my constitutional rights, so I'm, I'm inviting you to do that if you so choose. But that would be a violation. You will lose qualified immunity. And I will have litigation for this village of Larchmont, ma'am. I'm not going to stop videoing what I can see from public. That's ridiculous. This is public. I'm not going to start videoing. I'm asking you to stop videotaping. I'm telling you no, ma'am. I'm telling you no. I'm telling you no. I'm telling you no, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I'm politely refusing. I'm refusing to, that request. That is an unlawful order. I'm not going to be bullied out of my constitutional rights. I invited you to write up your ticket, arrest me, whatever you'd like to do, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand right here on public sidewalk, filming the police, filming what I can see from public. It's my constitutional right that you guys swore an oath to. You didn't swear an oath to that code, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so if you took an oath, honor your oath. Do I'm it. You a warning, so I, I don't want a warning, man. Well, guess what? I have discretion, and I'm using my discretion not to issue you a DAT. I'm asking you to leave. Okay. To go apply for a permit to prove the village. I'm permit. not breaking any laws. I'm not leaving, ma'am. I'm making that clear. I'm not leaving. Public sidewalk. not breaking any laws will not be leaving this guy knows he's been nodding the whole time he knows he's in he honors his oath there you go i found one there you go he honors his oath he honors his oath he's been nodding if you go back he's been nodding and smiling the whole time because he honors his oath this sergeant is complete tyrant complete tyrant we're not gonna back down from her unlawful order for her codes. Yeah, sure. Do you plan on ever getting permits? No. 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 I'm not going to get a permit to film in public. Okay. No. Just no. Does anyone else? Is this similar to anything else? Like any other village codes? No. No. I've never. I've never. I've never run across a village code that is in direct co a violation of the constitution like this. Like, I'm, for state parks, when mm -hmm. I have, you know, when I used to work there, they had. Um, State this where? Is for commercial activity. This yeah. Is considered commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh huh. So I was wondering. What do you? You said state what? I got when I went to the state parks, commercial. Okay. Activity was required. I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just wondering. No, no, no. Yeah, probably they they could regulate commercial. Like if I was shooting a movie or something right. like that. That's what, that's what yeah. Was, if you're shooting, yeah, yeah. If you're shooting like a movie or something, but my that's on my I'm an investigative journalist, right. so that's freedom that falls under freedom of the press, right. which can't be violated in any way. So that's why I'm inviting your sergeant. She read me her code, right. and I understand that, but I'm inviting her to arrest me on that code. So that way, because when she does, I can then take it to court mm -hmm. and get that code changed because that's in direct violation of the Constitution. And that's what I'm really here to do. I'm here to make Have sure. With no, no, no. I plan, to, I plan on it, but your, your sergeant's making a big deal right now about me leaving. So I have to stand my ground to show her that I'm not going to leave because I have a right to do what I'm doing. And, you know, I've offered her to do to enforce her code, you know, and that's all I'm going to I'm just going to peacefully exercise my rights here, sir. That's all. That's all. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. Thank you. You've been very cordial to me the whole time, and I appreciate that, sir. Thank you.
disregard the filming fee because that is for commercial only. 2000 a day? It's for commercial shoots, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. But fill out this form in its entirety, provide a certificate of insurance, and the village will review it and get an answer to you extremely quickly. No, ma'am, I don't need that. Issues. I don't need that. Okay, well, you're telling me that you want to film. You need to have a permit to film. No, I don't. I'm telling you, I don't. The village of Larchmont Code requires that you have a permit to film. I, I, under, I understand that, I'm but the, the United States Constitution gives me the, the inherent right to film. But the village, so yeah. you have the United States Constitution, mm -hmm. then each state has their own constitution, and then each village and yeah. jurisdiction has their own rules and regulations. So what makes you think that a village can supersede the Constitution of the United States? We're just going to give you this. I don't want that, man. Okay, well, I'm trying to accommodate sure. what you is, want. Is there anything else we can help you with? No, you, 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 guys, you guys are good to go. Wow, is all I can say. Wow. Cannot believe that sergeant really thought that filming on public property, I needed to get permission or I would be arrested. Very funny to me how when I invited her to arrest me, she wouldn't because she has discretion over these kinds of things. I'm sure that's the reason, ma'am. I'm sure. That sergeant was nothing but a tyrant and I'm gonna hold them accountable. I'm gonna mark Larchmont, New York into my calendar and into my notes to come back here and fight for that code to get changed. Completely ridiculous what's going on here. They have a code that prevents people from filming without permission in public on any grounds owned by Larchmont Village. Completely ridiculous. I cannot believe it. We still have a lot of good officers out there. As you guys saw, the two officers who responded with the tyrant sergeant honored their oath. Very respectable men. Very cordial. Completely ridiculous out here. We're going to hold them accountable. Stay tuned. Follow up to come. As always, guys, stay safe. God bless. See you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace. Always remember, this is your right under the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution to film in public. No one can expect any privacy in a public space.